embedded product development life cycle it is called as uh, edlc though it is not a standard and universal term the topics to be discussed are what is edlc why edlc objectives of edlc and different phases of edlc edlc is an analysis design implementation based on standard problem solving approach for the product development in any product development application the first and foremost step is to figure out what product need to be developed to figure out a good approach for building it and also need to develop it why edlc suppose the project may be a simple project or complex project in case if the complex the project is a complex project it is uh, essential in understanding the scope and complexity involved in any embedded product development edlc defines interactions and activities among various group of product development sector including project management system design and development system testing and release management and quality assurance the objectives of edlc the ultimate aim of any product development is is a marginal benefit marginal benefit is expressed in terms of return on investment it includes initial investment manpower investment infrastructure investment etc the product is said to be a profitable if a turnover for selling product is more than overall the investment expenditure so the edc helps in ensuring all these requirements by following three objectives ensuring that high quality projects are delivered to the user risk minimization and defect prevention in product development through project management and maximize productivity different phases of edlc a life cycle of product development is commonly referred to as the model it defines the various process phases involved in the life cycle if the suppose if the project is a simple project it contains only five phases requirements and requirements analysis design development and test deployment and maintenance in case the project is a complex project it consists of so many phases need conceptualization analysis design development and testing deployment supports upgrades and retirement so this is the uh, life cycle of uh, edlc starts from need need means uh, any embedded product may evolve as an output of need need may come from an individual from public from company need should be articulated to inside the development life cycle it can be visualized in any one of the following three needs uh, new uh, custom product development product reengineering and uh, product maintenance uh, coming to the next uh, phase uh, conceptualization in this uh, phase uh, scope of the project complexity of the project budget requirement number of resource person number of days risk management so these are analyzed in this uh, uh, phase it depends the scope of the concept performs cost benefit analysis and feasibility study and prepares project management and uh, risk management so this uh, phase involves uh, two types of activities uh, namely planning activity analysis and study activity these are performed uh, to understand the opportunity of the product in the market based on the need a concept proposal is prepared which is reviewed by the senior management for approval next phase is analysis this is nothing but requirement analysis so requirement analysis phase starts immediately after the conceptualization phase is approved by sponsor of the project requirement analysis is performed to develop a detailed functional model of the product under consideration so during this phase the product is defined in detail with respect to the inputs process outputs and interface at a various functional level requirement analysis uh, gives a emphasis on determining 
what function must be performed by the product rather than how to perform those functions. Next one is uh, design. It focuses on how the required functionalities can be delivered to the product. It defines application environment and creates an overall architecture for the product. Starts with preliminary designs and high level device, uh, designs. It establishes the top level architectures for the product. List out the various functional models uh, required for the product and defines uh, inputs and outputs of each uh, functional block. Next one is uh, development and testing. Yeah. The various type of uh, testings performed in the product development are unit testing, integration testing, system testing, usability testing, load testing, security testing, etc. So next one is deployment. Deployment means it's a process of launching the first fully functional model of the product in the market. It is also known as a uh, first, first customer shipping. So, task performed uh, during this phase are is a launching ceremony. Uh, sorry, launching a ceremony details should be communicated to the stakeholder, public through paper, electronic media, and email. Next one is support. In this phase, uh, it deals about uh, operation and maintenance of the product. The support should be provided to the end user or client to fix the works of the product. Upgrades, product re-engineering, releasing of new version for the product, which is already exists in the market. Releasing of, that is, to fix the major uh, bug fixes in the product. Next one is retirement. The retirement, if uh, the product is cannot sustain in the market for long time, it has to be disposed on right time before it causes the loss. So in order to make a best profit out of product, the development cycle is very important. To build a reliable product of best quality, functionality and release the product in right time. Thank you.